classification of business activities <clears throat> various business activities may be classified into two broad categories namely industry and commerce industry is concerned with the production of or processing of goods and materials commerce includes all those activities which are necessary for facilitating the exchange of goods and services on the basis of these two categories we may classify business firms into industrial and commercial enterprises let us examine in detail the activities relating to business now coming to industry industry refers to the economic activities which are connected with conversion of resources into useful goods generally the term industry is used for activities in which mechanical appliances and technical skills are involved these include activities relating to producing or processing of goods as well as breeding and raising of animals the term industry is also used to mean groups of firms producing similar or related goods for example cotton textile industry refers to all manufacturing units producing textile goods from cotton similarly electronic industry would include all firms producing electronic goods and so on further in common parlance certain services like banking and insurance are also referred to as industry say banking industry insurance industry etc industries may be divided into three broad categories namely primary secondary and tertiary primary industries these includes all those activities which are concerned with the extraction and production of natural resources and reproduction and development of living organisms plants etc these are divided as follows extractive industries these industries extract or draw products from natural resources extractive industries supply some basic raw materials that are mostly products of geographical or natural environment products of these industries are usually transformed into many other useful goods by manufacturing industries important extractive industries include farming mining lumbering hunting and fishing operations genetic industries these industries are engaged in breeding plants and animals for their use in further reproduction seeds and nursery companies are typical examples of genetic industries in additional activities of cattle breeding farms poultry farms and fish hatchery come under genetic industries secondary industries these are concerned with using materials which have already been extracted at the primary sector these industries process such materials to produce goods for final consumption or for further processing by other industrial units for example mining of non mining of iron ore is a primary industry but manufacturing of steel by way of further processing of raw irons is a secondary industry secondary industries may be further divided as follows manufacturing industries these industries are engaged in producing goods through processing of raw materials and thus creating form from utilities they bring out diverse finished products that we consume or use through the conversion of raw materials or partly finished materials in their manufacturing operations now coming to tertiary industries tertiary industries these are concerned with providing support services to primary and secondary industries as well as activities relating to trade these industries provide service facilities as business activities these may be considered part of commerce because as auxiliaries to trade these activities assist trade included in this category are transport banking insurance warehousing communication packaging and advertising now studying about commerce commerce includes two types of activities trade and auxiliaries to trade buying and selling of goods is termed as trade but these are a lot of activities that are required to facilitate the purchase and sale of goods 
These are called services or auxiliaries to trade and include transport, banking, insurance, communication, advertisement, packaging and warehousing. Commerce therefore includes both buying and selling of goods that is trade as well as auxiliary such as transport, banking etc. Commerce provides the necessary link between producers and consumers. It embraces all those activities which are necessary for maintaining a free flow of goods and services. Thus, all activities involving the removal of hindrances in the process of exchange are included in commerce. The hindrances may be in respect of persons, place, time, risk, finance, etc. Activities which are meant for assisting trade are known as auxiliaries to trade. These activities are generally referred to as services because these are in the nature of facilitating the activities relating to industry and trade. Transport, banking, insurance, warehousing and advertising are regarded as auxiliaries to trade. That is, activities play a supportive role. Following are the auxiliary, auxiliary activities, transport and communication. Production of goods generally takes place in particular locations. For instance, tea is mainly produced in Assam, cotton in Gujarat and Maharashtra, jute in West Bengal and Odisha, sugar in UP, Bihar and Maharashtra and so on. But these goods are required for consumption in different parts of the country. The obstacle of place is removed by transport through road, rail or coastal shipping. Transport facilitates movement of raw material to the place of production and the finished products from factories to the place of consumption. Along with the transport of facility, there is also a need for communication facilities so that producers, traders and commerce may exchange information and telephone facilities may also be regarded as auxiliaries to business activities. Banking and finance Business activities are cannot be undertaken unless funds are available for acquiring assets, purchasing raw materials and meeting other expenses. Necessary funds can be obtained by businessmen from a bank. Thus, banking helps business activities to overcome the problem of finance. Commercial banks generally lend money by providing overdraft and cash credit facilities, loans and advances. Banks also undertake collection of checks, remittance of funds to different places and discounting of bills on behalf of traders. In foreign trade, commercial banks help exporters in collecting money from importers. Commercial banks also help promoters of companies to raise capital from the public. Insurance business, insurance, business involves various types of risks. Factory building, machinery, furniture, etc. must be protected against fire, theft and other risks. Material and goods help in stock or in transit are subjected to the risk of loss or damage. Employees are also required to be protected against the risks of accident and occupational hazards. Insurance provides protection in all such cases. On payment of a nominal premium, the amount of loss or damage and compensation for injury, if any, can be recovered from the insurance company. Warehousing Usually, goods are not sold or consumed immediately after production. They are held in stock to make them available as and when required. Special arrangement must be made for the storage of goods to prevent loss or damage. Warehousing helps business firms to overcome the problem of storage and facilitates the availability of goods when needed. Prices are thereby maintained at reasonable level and a continuous supply of goods. Coming to Advertising and Public Relations there is an old saying, advertising is what you pay for and PR is what you pray for. So, advertising and public relations, these, uh, there is an old saying, advertising is what you pay for and PR is what you pray for. Both advertisement and PR activities are the tools to commerce, influence and promote your product services or an idea to your potential customers and motivate you target customers to recognize your accomplishments. Advertising and public relation activities are one of the most important methods of promote, promoting the sale of products and services in a marketplace. It is practically impossible for producers and traders to contact each and every customer. Thus, for promoting sales, information is made available through advertisements. 
and public publicity tools about their features price etc to the potential customers also there is a need to persuade potential customers and buyers about the utility features quality price competitive information about the goods and services etc the publicity of such attributes of products and services are done using various techniques of maintaining public relation tools the popular pr tool is the use of press release in print and social media platforms advertising and public relation activities help in providing information about available goods and services and inducing customers to buy particular items advertisements are always a paid activity where business occupies space in print or in non print media to promote its product or a service pr activities on the other hand are normally unpaid where business enters into a strategic communication to build a mutually beneficial relationship now important questions to be noted in this chapter are question number 1 define industry and its type of industry question 2 what are the various auxiliaries of trade define in detail question 3 different between different uh, differences between primary industry and secondary industry with examples